This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. We're going to simplify these two division problems in this video. So in both of them, notice you have a radical. So the first thing I'm going to do is simplify the radical by looking for a perfect square factor underneath the radical. So for this first one, we have 20 minus now square root of 125. Now you can figure out that on scratch figure that out on scratch paper or I'm going to just write down what that would be. So this is 5 times 25. That's 125. So this is going to be 25 times 5. So you can see that 25 is the perfect square inside the radical. Okay? Which means you can take that out, right? Take the square root of that out. Square root of 25 is just 5. Okay? So on the next step, what I really have is 20 minus 5. That's on the outside of the square root. And I have the square root of 5 still inside. Now, notice the whole thing is over negative 5. So if you have one term in the denominator, that means each of the terms in the numerator are divided by that. So I'm going to do 20 over negative 5 and this other one over negative 5. You could take a separate step to do that or you could do it um, all in one step. So what do I have here? 20 divided by negative 5 is negative 4. And here I have a minus, I have another minus, so that's going to end up being a plus. And notice that the 5's will cancel. So these ended up being pluses. So what I really have here is just plus a square root of 5. And there's our answer for this first one. Let's do the same thing over here. We need to simplify the square root of 44. What I'm going to do is just move this up a little bit higher. And let's do it the same way. And by the way, if you want for your first step, just to show you how you if you want, you could first put everything over 2. That's up to you. So for instance, at my first step, I could write 14 over 2 minus 5 root 44 over 2. But notice what I'm going to do. I am going to leave room to do my square root of 44. I'm looking for the perfect square in there. Well, 44 is 4 times 11. So this time, the 4 is the perfect square, so that'll come out to the front. Okay, so in this, since I divided by 2 first, I go ahead and simplify that right now. 14 divided by 2 is 7 minus. Now what I have over here, you could do 5 times 2 and write 10, or you could leave it as 5 times 2. I'm going to leave it factored in case something cancels in the denominator. So I'm going to write it like this, a little easier um, to see how the twos are going to cancel. But if you had written 10, you would cancel 10 over 2 and write 5. So that's up to you. So what do I have left here? I have 7 minus 5 root 11. And I forgot to do this all the way through, but remember this is equal to this. This is equal to this, which is equal to our answer. Same thing over here. Just keep in mind. That's it. Hope that helped.